Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to take a look at the next Walmart beauty box. Yes, Walmart has a beauty box. I was not aware of this until maybe two months ago. And somebody told me, one of, one of my subscribers told me um, that Walmart puts out, uh, it's not like a subscription beauty box. I think it's just something they do periodically um, where they gather up samples of things and then they, you know, send them to you. I think it's like $5 per box. And it's just little samples of stuff. And um, we did one earlier. And <laughs> several people commented on the, the, the graphic on the top of the box. It looked like something I had done. Like I had smudged lipstick on it to make the little Walmart logo. And it did kind of look like finger painting a little bit. But that's just the picture that was on the box when I got it. It, it was... <laughs> It was kind of a sad looking little box, <laughs> but I got another one in the mail today. And I have to say this one is much nicer and we're going to be looking at this one today. Look at this. This is nice. Now see this, this is the other one was just like this little cardboard box. You know, this is a box that actually has a lid to it. It's all shrink wrapped and everything. And it says Walmart beauty right up here on the top. And it's, it's a nice little box. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a very cool box. <laughs> so we're going to be taking a look in here. Obviously I haven't looked at it yet. It still has the shrink wrap on it. Um, and we're going to, we're going to do that like we always do. I'm going to have the same setup. I'm not, I'm not going to do it right here. We'll just look at it together that way. Before I do that, I wanted to show you this thing I bought today. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's from O'Keeffe's and it's called Healthy Feet. I have had the worst trouble with my, my feet getting dry this winter more than I've ever had before. I've tried several different foot creams, but I've tried O'Keeffe's hand creams and I really like them. And I found this health, Healthy Feet Night Treatment Cream. Uh, for extremely dry and cracked feet. It has deep conditioning oils, uh, visible results in one night, guaranteed relief. Now, it's only a three ounce tube, but you're supposed to put it on here before you go to bed. It says it works while you sleep. It's hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, non-greasy, safe for diabetic skin. So it says start with a small amount. It's all you need. Simply apply before bedtime wake up to better feet. Well, that sounds simple. I think I can handle that. But I, I have just had the worst time with dry skin this winter. It's just awful. So I'm going to try that. I didn't know if you'd ever seen that. I, I, I will let you know later how it works. I have not tried it yet. I just got it today. Um, oh, and my nails. I wanted to show you this. Look at this green. Isn't that cool? Now, that t this took some doing. I did this last night. Um, this is LA Colors Color Craze, and the color is mint. M-I-N-T, mint. I know that's probably not how you say it, but I don't think I'm capable of saying it any other way, mint. Now, this, the only thing about it is, it's kind of weird. When you go to put it on, it's really strange and uneven. In fact, it's kind of sheer, and when you do just one coat, it dries almost to a matte finish. It's very odd. So it took three coats to get it to look like this. And then I put a top coat over it. And I used a top coat that a subscriber recommended and I got some and I tried it. And I really like it. It's called Out the Door. Out the Door Top Coat. It's very shiny, it dries very fast, and it's really awesome. I'm, I'm really loving it. Now, of course, I've been using Revlon's Quick Dry Top Coat, which is awesome. Uh, Sally Hansen's Big, I think it's called Big Quick Dry Top Coat. That's what I was using before I got the Out the Door. Um, I don't really know, though, that the Out the Door Top Coat dries faster. It seems like they dry at about the same speed. Um, it has a nice shine to it, though, because before I added the top coat, it wasn't very shiny at all. I mean, it was still kind of dull looking, even with three coats on there. And it takes a while between, between coats for it to thoroughly dry. So, yeah, I did that last night. 
So I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've had green nails in a while. So I did that today, and I had. I had to tell you about my trip to Walmart today. I had the most perfect trip to Walmart, and they're not paying me. This that. I'm, this is not a Walmart commercial, although it sounds like one. I don't like going to Walmart. I'll be honest with you. I don't. And I know I'm not the only one. I dread going. I'll put it off as long as possible. But today I had to go. And the thing that I hate, one of the things I hate is the carts in Walmart are awful. At least around here. It seems like most of the Walmarts around here. The carts, they don't go straight. They just will not go straight. They really want to go that way, or they really want to go that way, or sometimes they want to go both ways. It just depends. It switches, and they don't know which way they want to go, but they surely don't want to go straight. And it, I end up, have you ever gotten a bad cart in Walmart, and you realize it, but you think, oh, it'll be fine, and, but you end up, you basically have to pull one way and push the other way to get it to go straight. You're like wrestling it through the entire store. I walked past an employee. I went to Walmart. If you're from Greensboro, I was on in, in the Walmart on Wendover, and I had this cart that was. I literally had to basically wheel it sideways. I look like Papa. I'm doing like this, pushing it sideways, trying to make it go straight. And I walked past this employee, and I said, "You know, it's really pathetic that I have to push this cart sideways to make it go straight." And she just rolled her eyes and walked away. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you. So, I hate the carts in Walmart. I'm about to the point where I'm going to buy my own cart, and every time I go to Walmart, I'm just going to drive my truck. I'm going to put it in the back of my truck, so I'm going to use my own cart, and then just take it back home because the carts are disgusting. They're awful. Anyway, my perfect trip to Walmart today. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. So, I had to go, and I was not looking forward to it. I'm sitting in the car trying to psych myself up. Like, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. You only need like three things. You're going to be in and out. Hmm. I got a cart, and it went straight. It, in fact, it rolled like a dream. And if, if you have gone for a long time and you haven't been able to get a cart like that, oh, it's impossibly wonderful. I mean, it, it just rolled straight. The alignment was perfect. I didn't have to make it go any certain way. They had everything I went there to get. It was like angels were singing. That never happens. Literally everything on my list, they had it in stock. Every time I go to Walmart, whether I'm there for two things or 50 things, at least one thing I'm there for, oh, they carry it. They just don't have any. And I keep running into that. And this was even before the pandemic. This has been going on for years. They don't have it. They have a spot for it. They carry it. They just don't have any. They had everything I went in there for. They even had extras. They had plenty of everything I went in there for. The angels were singing. It was beautiful. And every aisle I went down, there was nobody on it. You know, usually you have to slalom through the aisle, you know. And the store was, there were a lot of people in there. I mean, there were there were tons of people. But it just worked out that everywhere, everywhere I had to go, every aisle I went down, there was literally nobody on it but me. I had the whole aisle to myself. It was beautiful. Because I, I have a curse when it comes to shopping. I can go in a store for one thing, and there could be one other customer in the store. They will be right in front of the thing I need to get. And they will just stand there like they're in a daze. They will just stand there like a zombie and not move. That every It never fails if I'm going in a store for something. There's going to be somebody with their cart right in front of the thing I need to reach. Didn't happen today. I went down every aisle. There wasn't a soul on the aisle. It was crazy. I got about halfway through the store, and I thought, this is weird. This is really weird. And it kept happening. Every aisle was empty. <laughs> Which was weird because there were a lot of people there, and that never happens. Even when the store's not crowded, there's always somebody blocking the aisle, or they're in the way, or you just have to zigzag to get down the aisle. Sometimes you can't even get down the aisle, it's so crowded. So what I do is I park my cart at the end of the aisle out of the way, and I'll just walk where I can get between them and go get what I need, and then take it back to my cart, because otherwise I'll never get to it. So there was nobody in the way. I went up to check out. I didn't have to wait. I went right up to the thing. I did self-checkout because I prefer that. And if I had wanted a cashier, I could have had one. There were several that were waiting with no one checking out. I could have done that. But I love self-checkout. 
went through the self-checkout, it didn't give me a single error. I always get a scan error. Apparently, I don't scan things properly. And then it will there will be an error, and you have to wait for one of the employees to come do the thing on the keypad. You know, didn't happen. I got everything rung up. I got it out to my car. It was beautiful. It, it's really sad that that, may, that that is so rare. I never have experiences like that at Walmart. That never, all that stuff never happens. It's, it's, it's glorious. I wish it would happen more often. It was almost like shopping in Harris Teeter, I tell you. And I don't shop in Harris Teeter unless it's for a sale item because to be honest, the prices are way too high for what you get. So I don't want to shop in there. No offense if you work at Harris Teeter. I love your store. I just, I, I cannot pay what y'all charge. I just, I think it's excessive. So it was wonderful. It was great. It set the tone for my whole day. I came home. I got a bunch of stuff done. I've been in a good mood all day because of that. <laughs> as sad as that is. Two other random things I wanted to tell you. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay. When I was making, hypothetically, when I was making the soap video in Dollar Tree yesterday, that was yesterday. At the time is passing weird. It seems like that was two or three days ago. I think it was just yesterday. When I was making that soap video, the weirdest thing happened. Okay, I love this Dollar Tree. I love it. It's the only, there's only one in Greensboro that has the soap on shelves. The rest of them have the soap in bins. These little angled wire bins. There's it's you can't organize it the same way because it's not on shelves. Anyway, I was in there. And they were very busy, but it was quiet for most of the time I was in there. There was one period where a lady came in with a very loud child. It was like, a, well, she had two boys with her and they were just being loud, but then they left. And, um, and then it was pretty quiet. It was a constant stream of customers up front. So the, the cashiers were super busy up there. There were two of them and they were busy the entire time. Okay, so I'm in the middle of making this video and I'm always mindful of customers like if there's somebody coming I will stop and move out of the way so they can look at whatever they need to This one woman came out of nowhere. I mean she she was like a bolt from the blue I don't even know this little lady. She looked like she was probably in her mid-60s or so She had on two or three masks and a face shield and it looked like she had two or three pairs of gloves on came down She came zipping down. She didn't have a cart. She just came flying down this aisle and she got, I mean, okay, I, I didn't even know she was there. I didn't even hear her coming. Usually, you, I can hear people and I'll move. This lady literally came running up to the soap. And she, I mean, I'm like right in front of the shelf. She literally gets right in front of me. I mean, like her hair is touching my face. She gets right in front of me and just stands there. It was the weird, of course, I'm backed up. I'm like, okay, what in the world? And she's just looking through the soap. She's just looking at all the soap. She's moving it, touching it, looking at it. And then she backs up and she almost stepped on me. I'm like, did you not see me? And then she went away and I was going to start again. And she came back and did it again. She got right, I mean, like she was right next to me at one point. She had her face turned this way. She was this close to my face. Her face was like, right. it was so weird. It was so weird. I don't know what her deal was. I just exited the aisle for a little bit. Like, let her have the aisle. I don't know what, I guess she figured she had so many layers of stuff on that she was like COVID proof or something. I don't know. It was weird. She had no sense of personal space. I'm like, you're a big fan of PPE, obviously, or whatever your version of PPE is. Did you not hear about the social distancing thing? You know, six feet, and they, it's not six millimeters, it's six feet. Go over, it was weird. It was so odd. I, I don't think I've ever experienced that in my life. I have never had somebody do that to me in a store. It was so strange. She was close enough. She could have kissed my face. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I left the aisle for a little bit, and then she went on. And then I could, I, that was like halfway through the video, and then I went back and finished it. But it was the strangest thing. I had to tell you about that. I've never seen, I've never seen anything like it. It was crazy. I have had some weird things happen when I'm making videos in stores. That was one of the weirdest things I've had happen. And people ask me all the time, do you feel weird doing it? No, I don't. Do people ask you what you're doing? No, they don't. Nobody does. Nobody, nobody. I've, I've had one person ask me, and that was like two or three years ago. And it was a manager in Roses, and he asked me what I was doing. And I told him I was straightening shelves, and he said, it looks good. Carry on. He didn't care. Nobody cares. I've made over 300 videos in stores. Nobody cares. Um... 
Yeah, oh, and there was one other thing I wanted to tell you, <laughs> hypothetically. I haven't had a lot of stuff to tell you about the neighborhood, hypothetically, lately. It's been quiet around here, truly. There's not, there's not really been anything going on. Um, yeah, it's, it's been very quiet. Um, I can tell you something that happened. It was two days ago now. It was Thursday when I was, when they came to, I'm getting my countertops redone, and they came to do the template where they lay out these plastic strips and they cut them and they do the, like an exact, it's a template of your countertops, you know. And, uh, so they were, there were two guys from the company that's doing it and they were in there and I, I kind of stood around for a little bit. I didn't know if they needed me to be in there, but then it kind of became obvious after several minutes, okay, they don't need me and it looks like this is going to take a while. So I'm just going to go make myself comfortable in the living room so I'm close enough by if they have questions, but I, I don't want to make them uncomfortable by just standing in here in the living, in the kitchen. I'll just go sit in the living room. Anyway. I was sitting in there and I was just playing on my phone, I, you know, just minding my own business. And I heard one of the guys, he was whispering, one of the guys was whispering to the other guy, he goes, look, she's got a, she's got a YouTube plaque on the wall. Look, she's, she's on YouTube. And I heard the other guy walk over there and he goes, what is that? And they, I, they must've looked it up and they said, she's got over 300,000 subscribers. And then they must've been looking at thumbnails of videos and because one of them went, that doesn't look anything like her. <laughs> Shoot, that's her. She didn't look anything like that. <laughs> I don't know what they were looking at. It could have been Charity. It could have been Carl. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't ask. I just sat in there. I don't know if they knew I could hear them. Probably not. I could hear them though. And I said, "Now, like, what else are they gonna say?" And they didn't really. They, I, they didn't say anything for a minute. And I'm like, "Okay." I don't know if that was good or bad that I didn't look like whatever you were looking at. And then one of them poked his head around the corner, so you're on YouTube. And I, yeah, oh, that's awesome. You know, and then th 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 nothing else happened after that, but it was kind of funny. It reminded me this one time when I was a teenager, when I was in high school, I worked in this grocery store and I went on, I was there on a Saturday and on my lunch break, I went to pick up some pictures I had printed out. This was back in the stone age, back in the eighties. I had gone to the beach with my mom and we had taken some pictures of the beach. And one of the pictures was me in a bikini. I mean, I wasn't doing anything weird. It was just me in a bikini on the beach. And, um, yeah, back in the day, you used to have to take your roll of film to the drugstore. And, and when it was ready, they would, it, you would have to go pick your pictures up. They would call you and you go pay for your prints of your pictures. And you probably heard your parents or grandparents talk about it. Um, so I, I was looking through the pictures. I had them. I went back to work. I was looking through my pictures. And one of the guys that worked there was an older guy. He came over and said, oh, you got pictures. And I was showing him my pictures. And the, and I hadn't really looked through them. And I was just flipping through. And the one with the bikini popped up. And he goes, who's that? I said, it's me. He looked and he said, that's you? I said, yeah. He said, it doesn't look anything like you. And I didn't know whether to take that good or bad. Like, Because he just he said it two or three times. He's looking at it like, that doesn't look anything like you. But he had this look on his face like he was just confused, like it wasn't good or bad. It was like, that looks nothing like you. Like, it is literally me. That was me last weekend. But uh, it was, it, it reminded me of that. Like, I don't know how to take that. The only other thing I can think of that it reminds me of, this one time, I was, I was getting off the elevator. I, okay, it was my old job when I used to work in this big building and I was coming down to leave and these two two of the secretaries that worked at the firm where I worked were getting on the elevator as I was getting off and they said, oh, hey, Mary, and it was just them on the elevator and I was walking away, but as I walked away, I heard one of them go, you know, she is always so, and the door shut and to this day, I have no idea how that sentence ended. She is always so... And I don't know what I always am, but apparently I am always so something. But to this day, that was probably 10 years ago, and I still wonder what she said. I'm hoping it was, she is always so nice. Or she is always so quiet. I hear that a lot, too. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna open up this beauty, beauty box. Now, I don't know how much beauty is in here. It could be, it's kind of heavy, honestly. The other one wasn't very heavy at all. This one has some weight to it. I don't know what's in here. So, uh, let's find out. 
Okay, here we have our little box. Isn't this cute? Look at this little thing. It looks like it has little trees on it and they're shiny. <laughs> Just random little squares. It's very lovely. So this box has a lid on it that we just lift off. This is a much nicer box than the last one. I figured they were all going to be like the last one. Oh my goodness, there's... Well, that's foam. There may not be as much in here as it appears. Let's slide this over. Let's see. We have a thing here for the Walmart Beauty Box. Well, it's a cheat sheet. We'll look at that in a minute. And that tells us about all the things in the box. Okay. The first item is in this styrofoam stuff. Looks like nail polish. That's awesome. I think it's Essie nail polish. Now keep in mind, this box was... I think it's $5, and I think that includes the shipping. I don't think there's an extra charge. I think it's just $5. See my new Aldi scissors? I got these at Aldi the other day. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's a nice gold Essie nail polish. Very nice. Well, gosh, this alone is more than $5. The color is called Mosaic Mosaic on down instead of mosey on down. Mosaic on down. Number 1620. Let's test it. We're just going to put a little on here. Very pretty. Don't do this. It causes holes in the universe. You have to roll it between your, between your little flat fingers. I have a feeling it's just going to look like gold. I have a Sally Hansen quick dry. A Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This this color. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, it's a little bit sheer. I think the Insta Dry is a little bit more opaque. It's not too sheer. Look at that. It has a nice shine to it. Very nice. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's already better than the last box. Actually, the, la the last box wasn't that bad. We got some cool stuff in there. So there's that. A little thing of Essie nail polish. Oh, speaking of nail polish, um, I got some nail polish in the last beauty box video we did, and I tried it, and it looked really pretty in the bottle, but it did not look good on me at all. It, it was not... It wasn't really orange or red. It was kind of a reddish orange, and it really did not look good on me. So I had it on for about a day, and I, I really disliked it, so I took it off. And I, I gave the bottle of nail polish away. I just, I didn't keep it. I gave it away. I'm really loving this green, though. This mint. I can't believe this is a 98-cent bottle of nail polish. But it did take three coats, and, it, and they took forever to dry. I still, I still like it. Okay. Oh, here we have something from NYX. Fill and Fluff. Oh, cool. It's an eyebrow pomade pencil. Look at this. So it has a little brush on one end. Oh, this is awesome. What color is it? Clear. Round out your no makeup makeup routine with this all-in-one brow pencil. Use the clear waxy pomade for building and shaping and the tiny paddle brush for fluffing and setting for an effortless look. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of this. Oh, it has a seal. I'm going to pop it open. Okay. You know, I tell you, um, I was never one to pluck my eyebrows, and I'm glad I didn't because I know a lot of people that overplucked them over the years, and after a while, they just get very thin. But I've found that the older I get, you know, I started going gray when I was 21. My eyebrows are also going gray, and I have to, I have to deal with them on a regular basis, or they look like they're not there. They look invisible. It's a common problem as you get older. Full. Feel and fluff. I have never heard of an eyebrow pomade. 
Let's see if I can get the lid open. Oh my goodness. That is the most adorable thing I've seen today. Look, it's a it's a tiny brush. It's like a little baby brush. Oh, it's adorable. It is so cute. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's very soft. I like it that way. Let's see. Okay, so this must be the waxy pomade. I've never used any, any pomade of any sort. This is exciting. My grandpa used to use pomade on his hair. I don't imagine this is the same. So you just, I guess you just brush, brush this over your eyebrows. So you coat your eyebrows in a waxy pomade, like that. Oops. And then you come back with this adorable little brush and you just fluff. What is it called? Fill and fluff. You're going to fill it and fluff it like this. You're going to make them look nice. Amazing fluffing brush, according to this little thing here. I am so excited to try this. Oh, this is going to be fun. I've never used anything like this. I mean, I have an eyebrow pencil, but it's just, you know, color. Neat. Well, I tell you what. So far, I am digging this little $5 beauty box. This one is cool. This one is great. And there's more. There's more in here. Let's see. Here we have Tresemme Pro Pure Conditioner. It's a light moisture. Let's see. I did see a thing online the other day that, and I don't know if it's true or not, and I don't use Tresemme. Um, my kids use it, but they haven't had any problems. My boys like the Tresemme 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I saw something online that Trace May has added something to their products that causes your hair to fall out. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but trust me, my kids have tons and tons of hair and it doesn't look like any of it's falling out. Their hair is so thick. You know, my younger son has really long hair. He puts it up in a ponytail. That ponytail is like that big around. His, his hair is like horse's hair. It is so thick. I don't have hair like that at all. He didn't get that from me. But... I'm, I'm always willing to try whatever. Okay, so this is a three ounce bottle of conditioner. It has no silicones, parabens, or dyes. Pro Pure. I've never heard of that. I don't, I don't, I'm assuming that's a new thing. Um, I don't know. Oh, this one's open. It must have a seal on it. Yeah, there's a little bit on the outside. This is also Pro Pure. This is the Light Moisture Shampoo. Let's see what it smells like. I'm surprised none of it leaked out, which maybe it did. I just haven't seen it yet. It smells like... Kind of looks like Tresemme, honestly. It seems like, to me, all Tresemme products smell the same. That just... It smells like my kids, the two-in-one shampoo they use. Let's see what th this smells like. Yeah, it's the same. It has a light smell, almost like a light smell of scent of coconut and perfume, basically. I mean, it smells good. So these are each three ounces of light moisture shampoo and conditioner. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's more. What is this? There's a big piece of foam in here. Oh, I thought this was just in here to take up space, but I think there's actually something in it. There's a lovely crinkly wrap on the outside. See, there's a thing in there. It's a thing. I don't know what it is. We're going to find out. sometimes has candles like this. They're called timber wick 
candles, I believe, and they crackle as they burn. But this one is the same kind, it's just smaller. Now look at this, so you have the little wooden top and it has two W's on it because it's wood wick, W, W, and there are little silver W's on there. This is spiced blackberry. It smells so good. It smells wonderful. Oh my word, this is beautiful. I love this. I wasn't expecting this. This, 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 and this. This is why it was so heavy. I was surprised. See, this is glass. And then you have your candle in here. Oh, there's something on the inside. What does this say? With plus wick innovation, this patented wick design delivers soothing crackle fast fragrance and better burn oh that's awesome oh it really smells good that is fantastic yeah i thought that's that um roll was just in there to take up room in the box but it had a little candle in it i've never seen one like this usually i, I see the larger ones i haven't seen one like this this is great and there's more we're not done look there's more we have e.l.f. Facial Oil Mist. Two ounces in a little spray infused with lavender oil. It's calming. So if your face gets too excited, you just squirt some of this on it and it'll calm it down. Like if your face has, I don't know, anxiety issues or something, you can spray it and hose it down and make it happy. I know my face flies off the handle all the time. Now, I will say, I haven't used many e.l.f. products. It does seem like they've come out with a lot of stuff in the last few years. I know the first time I ever encountered e.l.f., they just had, I saw like maybe one or two different types of eyeshadow, and they had mascara, and it was all like one, two, or three dollars. But now, they've really expanded. They have a lot more stuff now than they used to. Let's see if we can calm my hand. Like, we'll spray some of this on there, and... and I don't know how excited my hand is, but we'll see if we can calm it down. There's a sticker on here. Let me get that open. Okay. Well, it looks like it's cruelty-free and vegan. There's a little thing on the back. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is stuck to it. Interesting. Let me... There's a little bit of glue. There's some glue on there. I'll get that. Gosh, that really, I had to really pull to get that off of there. I'm not calm now. Getting this out of the package is enough. Okay, elf calming. So it's infused with lavender oil. It just looks like water to me. Let's see. I don't know how much to put on here. I guess it depends on how, how calm you need to be. It smells like a doctor's office. Okay. Anyway, it has a, well, a very slight, slightly oily feel. Not, not really. Not at all. Oh, it just goes right in, doesn't it? I mean, I kind of smell the lavender, but to me, well, it's very specific, but it smells like whatever they use to sanitize um, my doctor's office where I... I have thyroid issues and I have to go get blood work done and um, it smells like whatever they use to clean the waiting room. <laughs> it smells just like that. I mean, it's, it's not a bad smell. I'm just thinking that if I were to use this on my face, I would, it would just, I'd feel like I was at the doctor's office. It fades though. It doesn't hang around. Like, I don't really even, I don't really smell it now, either that or I've gotten used to it. It is lovely though. My hand feels very calm. Yeah, it's not agitated anymore. <laughs> nice. It's like therapy for your skin. Okay, so that's e.l.f. Calming. Don't drink it. It won't, probably won't help anxiety in general. You can't even see it on my table. Well, I would put something under it here. Well, that just magnifies the words Walmart beauty, doesn't it? Well, you get the idea. I thought this was a tampon when I first glanced at it. 
It's not. That'd be a flat tampon. I thought maybe it was some innovative something. All right, it's not. This is Beauty Collagen. You know, I was going to buy some collagen supplements and then I forgot about it, honestly. Here we have a little powder that you're going to mix in a drink. It's called Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. It has 12 grams of collagen per serving. It's good for your skin, hair, nails, and joints. I really wanted it for the joint support. I'm, I'm having issues with my knees. 120 milligrams of hyal hyaluronic acid. Lavender lemon. Oh, I'll definitely try that. What do you do? Just mix it in water? God, that print is so tiny. It's like a little gnat's butthole. I can't read that. I'd just mix it in water, I guess. It just looks like something you would just mix with some water and drink it. That's awesome. Beauty collagen. Okay. And what else? Oh, there are two, two more things in here. Gosh. Here's one. Biore charcoal pore strips. Deep cleansing. We get one nose strip from Biore. Free your pores. Unclog pores. Draws out excess oil for the deepest clean. I haven't done a pore strip in forever. I should do one. Yeah, you remove the strip. Twist the strip to loosen and separate slits prior to use. You wash your face and then wet your nose. And, because it won't stick on a dry nose, dry your hands. Peel the strip off the plastic liner. Apply it to the nose area. Smooth side down. Pressing down to ensure good contact with skin. And then you let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes until stiff to the touch like paper mache. And then slowly and carefully peel it off starting at the edges pulling toward the center. Use it only on your nose. Lord, I can only imagine other places people have tried to use these things. Whew, man, that would hurt. But anyway, yay, I get a Biore uh, charcoal uh, pore strip. Very nice. Look at all my goodies. I, I'll be honest, I am really impressed with this $5 box. The last thing I have is this thing. Bliss Holographic Full Eye Masks. Ooh, trippy. So they go under your eyes. You apply the full eye masks onto clean, dry under eye area for 15 to 20 minutes. Then remove them and gently pat the remaining serum into the skin. No need to rinse. This is supposed to help with puffy eyes, I believe. Look at that pretty packaging. In here we have two single-use eye masks. So you can do both of your eyes one time. Hug it out. These next-gen full-backed eye masks hug facial contours and form a protective barrier to intensify serum delivery and absorption. Enough with the puff. These holographic eye masks refresh and awaken eyes as their potent serum, a unique vegetable-derived combo of moisturizers plus soothing hexapeptide, soothes and helps visibly reduce puffiness and dark circles. And here's a little piece of trivia. Did you know the darkest place on Earth is in northern Chile? Let's keep it that way. Dark circles, bye. I got this. E-Y-E. -E. Sounds like the name of a nail polish. I got this. It depuffs and brightens. Nice. Well, I, I, wow. Now, I will say the first, and that's it. And then you also get this super cool little box with a lid on it. That's a nice, it's a nice little box. It's a good size. You could use it for all kinds of things. Now, I have to say the first box I was not very impressed with. I mean, it wasn't bad. This is amazing for $5, and that was with free shipping. It was $5 total for all this stuff. I think that's pretty good, honestly. And we have products here. I've never used, well, I've used these before. All this other stuff, well, I mean, I have SE nail polish, but not that one. All this other stuff, I've never tried. So it's a nice sample. It's a nice variety of things. And the candle was a nice bonus too. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's a nice variety of things. Let's look at this. Let's see what we can find out about this. And it tells us about these things. Create the spa experience at home with our lineup of pampering treats that'll leave you glowing from head to toe. Okay. So the Bliss, I got this. The full size, this and this is a full size one set, is $2.97. Full backed holographic under eye masks refresh and awaken eyes while reducing puffiness and dark circles. Okay. And this, you can get a full size of the Vital Proteins Lavender Lemon Beauty Collagen. The full size is 9.6 ounces. This is only 0.53 for $24.98 at Vital Proteins. Nourish your inner glow with a delicious blend of collagen peptides, hyaluronic acid, probiotics, lemon, lavender, blueberry, and beets. I got to try some beet cider a couple of weekends ago. It's um, apple cider with beet juice in it. Oh, it was wonderful. It kind of tasted like cranberry. It was really good. I don't even like beets, and I thought it was good. <laughs> totally off topic, but this has beets in it. It made me think of that. The cider was called Beetnik. B-E-E-T-N-I-K. It was good. Okay, next we come to the Tresemme Pro Pure Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the shampoo, and this is the conditioner. And for a 16-ounce bottle of these, they are $5.98 each. Clean, gentle, professional, free of sulfates, parabens, and dyes. And that's all they're going to tell you about that. Trace May must not have paid as much to have them talk about it. And then we come back over here to the Biore Charcoal Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. A box of six of these is $5.88. With natural charcoal... Biore pore strips suck out deep down dirt, oil, and blackheads, leaving skin feeling fresh, clean, and less oily. Yes, they do. And then this thing with the cute little brush. I just, I love the little brush on this thing. It's so cute. The NYX Fill and Fluff Clear Brow Pomade Pencil is $11 for one of these. A major upgrade from Clear Brow Gel. This dual-ended pencil makes it super easy to tame, set, and add texture to your eyebrows. I look forward to trying that. That's awesome. That's fantastic. And then Essie Nail Polish. We've organized some Essie before. This bottle at Walmart is $8.97. Our exclusive Easy Glide brush fits every nail size for streak-free application and a flawless glossy finish colors will vary. Well, we got the one pictured here, I believe. The mo mosaic on down. Pretty gold color. And then we have the e.l.f. Facial Oil Mist. Now this is, according to this, this is the full size. It's two ounces. The Facial Oil Mist is five dollars. Now the one pictured here is pink. That might be a rose oil of some sort. Let's see what we say, what they have to say. Infusing wellness and beauty, this collection of six custom mists is formulated with unique blends of essential oils. Let's see, essential oils to provide a boost to mind and body. Scents will vary. Well, I'm not a big fan of lavender, but I can tell you now, you know, I sprayed some on my hand. I don't smell it at all anymore. So it looks like this one is for calming. Maybe the other ones do different things. Maybe you can get one that's exciting. Like if your skin is lackadaisical and boring, maybe they have an exciting spray that will make it, I don't know, jiggle around and vibrate or something. I don't know. I don't understand cosmetics. Y'all know that. Okay, and then we get to our little candle. I love these. If you've never tried one of these with the little crackling wick, oh, it's so, it's, it's a lovely sound. It really is. This is the Woodwick Mini Hourglass Candle. Now this is a small one. The 22, the large size is 22 ounces and they're 1968. 
add sophisticated fragrance and a distinctive crackle to your space with wood wick. And that's all I have to say about it. Yeah, it's wonderful. I have never, I've never seen one in Spice Blackberry. That's pretty great. I look forward to trying that. <laughs> but there we have it. I think, personally, I think that is, that is fantastic for $5. I think that's a wonderful deal. Now, again, this is the Walmart beauty box. They don't pay me to say any of this. I'm just a regular subscriber. I pay for my boxes. That way, I can be totally honest with you and tell you how I feel about stuff. Um, I got tired of Ipsy because it just seemed like they weren't paying attention to my preferences at all. You know, you go through and you answer the questions about what you want and what you don't want. And, like, they weren't paying any attention to that. And it felt like I was getting the same stuff over and over again. So I wanted to try some different uh, boxes and subscriptions. Honestly, this from Walmart is really impressive for $5. I mean, this is great. But yeah, we'll see. We'll keep getting them. I don't know. I think they just come periodically. They don't. They, you don't get one every month, I don't think. But we'll see how, how it goes. But this one was good. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, seeing all these things, listening to me ramble a little bit. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again soon.